Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 40s World, where we do reviews, we talk about things, and we get down to business and try to figure this all craziness out. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about what's buzzing in social media. There's always somebody out there doing something stupid, and then they don't want anybody to make comments on it, but yet they show it. My deal is, if you want something to be kept secret, be silent. Don't tell no one, okay? Let it be known just between you and the Lord. That's it. Then you won't have no infractions going on or people budding in, putting their opinions in, okay? No harm, no foul. Nobody knows about it. Only you and that person. And if that person leaks it, then there's a problem. That's why you should do everything by yourself. Crime by yourself. Cheating by yourself. I don't know how you can cheat by yourself, but I just thought that would be interesting to say. (laughs) But what's trending, what's buzzing on all the social media platforms, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, okay? And many, many more out there in the global world, okay? We're talking about giving you the topic of discussion, the hot, hot topic for today, July 8th, Monday, It's about Lala Anthony, the reality TV star, and her family, in a sense. Carmela Anthony, just messing up. Just messing up. Just messing up. Going out there cheating in public. I don't know where he thinks he can go and no camera is going to follow him. I mean, he's the it factor. Or he was the it factor when he was playing ball. Now he can't seem to um, get a new home just want to keep him in the league. Then you got Lala out there trying to be the best woman possible, or uh, entrepreneur, wife, mother, daughter. It's everything. I mean, she's gorgeous, pretty woman, nice body, kept herself looking good. And what? Now she's going to be looking at being a single mom. <laughs> well, I tell you, I take single mom over cheating husband any day because your husband a strange husband because y'all been away y'all been separated for a year but that didn't give him the right or you the right to go and have separate lives meaning dating whoever you want to when you're still happily married or supposed to be you know matrimony to death to us part through sickness and hell all that stuff doesn't ring a bell okay my good deal on this whole thing is Lala got fed up one day and she might have did to do with somebody else and Carmelo found out. That's my my take on it. I ain't got into the article yet, but I do have another YouTube associate. Don't know him, but I go on his channel. He's called Lionel B. Um, and I may have gotten a clip from him with his little uh tag. Uh, face on it, but I think his name is Lionel B. Because I'm gonna make another uh video about Lala winning this $68,000 at a casino in uh Louisiana somewhere. Okay, which I think it was with 50 Cent. So I'm like, and he won't have but <laughs> which you know he ain't gonna get none of that. But I don't know, that might be an open blessing for Lala to stack that bag. But if they living in California, I think it's community pop- property and everything goes together. Okay, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for her. But I also heard, and it's been speculation, <coughs> that, uh, excuse me, this woman, Ludacris married to, Exoti or something like that, it's spelled E. U D O X I E. Let's call her Doxy. E Doxy. Okay. She looks uh fairly close to Lala, don't she? Okay. They look kind of close. And you know when you got them Kardashians in there, Sierra, Kelly Rowland, and uh Serena Williams, they yeah, they could keep a secret, can't they? What if her and Ludacris actually did the mambo dance together? Because, I'm sorry, I haven't seen them together as a couple and, you know, getting up with Carmella and Lala. It's just been like them separate. So, what y'all think about that? 
I'm just putting it out there. Lana B seemed to think the same thing. He have a little bit more investigation going on. So you might want to check out his channel and see what he talking about. <laughs> Cause it is it go he go a little deep with it. And I'm like, you know what? That could be right. I mean, Lala hang around a, a lot of celebrity males. You know what I'm saying? And when you get lonely and you looking like how she looks. I don't know. Temptation is a mug. Okay? It's a mug. So, not saying she was right to do it, but if you got a man cheating on you, and you know people like Beyonce, Keller Rowling, the Kardashians, you know what I'm saying? Them people. You could be linked up with a whole hell of a lot of people, and their best friends can keep secrets. Especially them Kardashians, you know what I'm saying? They probably say, girl, go on and get your groove on with Ludacris. Okay, and for him to get somebody as a wife that looks similar to Lala, it makes you wonder: Did he really want her? Did they get together and share a romantic night? You know, like Luther Vandross say, "If only for one night." <laughs> Lala ain't fooling me, honey. It's a lot more going on to this story, and once those tables are turned, honey, anything can come out. So I'm thinking it's a 50 50. He done cheated on her, as we all know. And I think Lala done did a little bumping and grinding with somebody else, too, to get this man on her birthday to be creating a scene such as this. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to get on the camera and talk about, oh, y'all embarrassing this lady. And, and, you know, she got a family. And they said, well, you should have thought about that before you went, what, to the South of France on a yacht cruising? And you're saying it was other people. Yeah. How come we ain't just saw just you and her laying up there in the sun? Who were other people? Don't you think her husband will be out there? Her boyfriend will be out there? The kids will be running around like they crazy or something. Honey, it was just you two on that boat. All right. That's your mistress for today. And damn, she kind of looked like um, uh, your wife, too. And that's the other baby mama who had he had a whole other baby with. Why he's still married to Lala. So I'm like, Lala, you got to make a choice, baby. You got to make a choice because you're not stupid and Carmella's not stupid. But I think both of y'all don't have a play on each other. And y'all got to decide soon rather than later. Are you going to stay in your marriage and make it work? Or are you going to become uh, like, I guess we're married, but we're living separate lives? Where that come from? Okay, and then Lala all up in her feelings, very much so, because she sent this after she found out what you were doing. Stabbed her in the heart on her birthday at that. Who does that? What kind of world do we live in when people continue to do stuff like that and women or men continue to take these felons back? I call them felons when they sit out there and sneak out on their marriage. I call them a felon. That's a crime. A crime has been committed. Okay? A crime has been committed. You don't sit there and gave one year to 20 years of your life to this one person, and then they want to step out one time, or in Lala case, several times, got a fool, another baby involved by another woman that got his blood in that child. Then he's still sneaking with other women. I don't understand. On her birthday. Okay? That would be enough to drive me insane, okay? But I ain't like that. I'm like, oh, let's go. We got to we got to go from each other. Well, a crime is committed for real. Felony, have you heard of it? I'm sure you have. But anyway, that's just my spiel, my take. Now, let's get on into this Atlanta Black Star. It's the one that broke the story. And uh, Sierra Porter is the uh, journalist who wrote the article up. She titled it, oh, she definitely single. Single, as in single ladies, okay? Lala Anthony shows off her assets. Fuse fans divorce speculation. Okay, let's get on into this commentary. Because y'all don't hear mine pretty much. Let's see if they agree with what I'm saying. Okay, we got Lala and Carmelo Anthony's marriage may be headed for an end after footage surfaced online of a free agent NBA player on a yacht with a model during LA, I said LA, Lala's birthday weekend. Anthony claims he was on a business trip with a married couple 
but the two were alone in the pictures. In an interview with TMZ, Mello said, the only reason I'm addressing this is because this is affecting my family now, and you got me out here looking crazy. Usually I won't address this, but I had to address this. Can't let this one slide because this, I am guess he's saying, feces ain't cool no more. What, what, what Carlo? I'm going to just call him Carlo, okay, because he ain't, he ain't no Carmelo. All right, because he ain't meddling. He ain't doing things lazy. He just outright being totally disrespectful. Okay. Oh, and then he have a son, a son to emulate him. Oh, I hope he get more jeans from Lala. Oh, God, I just really hope he do. Because I'm tired of these men going around him doing dirt. I mean, and then you got women that do dirt too. So I, I'm, I ain't biased on either one. But my point is, before you do the dirt, before you do the crime, think about it. Okay. How is this going to affect me longevity if I decide to stay with my wife or I decide to stay with my husband? This is going to be something that's going to be tainted. Now, I'm going to always think about and they're going to always think about It's going to cause a problem. So before you cheat, I just say, maybe y'all need to Okay? So it won't be no cheating. won't be none of that. It'll be a clean slate. I got to go my way. You go your way because the love is gone. All right. And we can't repair it. I don't want to repair it. And that's just how it is. If somebody will out, let them out. Let them go. Let them go. It's better to let them go. See what they done lost than to sit there and make them miserable and you be miserable too. Ain't no sense of both of y'all being miserable. And this is what I think has happened to Lala's marriage. And that's my pun intended. We start where it said he talking about it ain't cool. I just had to get my two cents in. Y'all know how I get down. Going back to the article, he goes on to say, where well, there is no telling what would happen with the pair. Lala is sure looking unbothered in her recent Instagram post. The 36-year-old television personality and actress took to Instagram Thursday, showing off her long legs and thick body in a one-piece leopard print bathing suit. God goes growing, glowing, and Lala wrote for her wrote for her caption okay and she looks amazing y'all go on her instagram account and she still got it up and you know do what you gotta do she look amazing that's what i'm saying i understand i understand honey and she ain't wearing her ring and she definitely been separated for him for at least a year and taking care what well, they've been co-parenting i'm sure i'm sure he he's been seeing his son but i'm like child you already separated go on and make it legal honey gone and just know you're not cheating which i think you are but that's beside the point but go on and make a clean slate let him go because he got to have what he want to have and it seems like he want to have a harem okay and he don't mind sitting there doing to him raw because he got a whole nother baby okay another whole baby that he don't even really claim okay don't claim it all. But the lady who messed up and messed with him while he was with you, this is what she's getting. Fair game, fair turn play. Okay, that's all it is. Okay, she getting what she got. So it's good for her. Not good for the child. Hopefully he'll take care of the child financially and emotionally. But he is going around him just dipping it in, sticking it in, and ain't no calm that's going nowhere. So I'm like, uh-uh, you don't need him. He might bring you something home you can't get rid of. And then when you really want to get rid of, who going to want to fool with you? Okay? Who going to want to fool with you, Lala? Okay, I got off the subject again, but we're going back. Uh, We had the beautiful picture of her in her little bathing suit looking all nice. Okay? It said, with over 300,000 likes, fans complimented Lala and gave her advice on supposedly moving forward. Looking unbothered. Please don't take him back. Your strength means so much to other women going through the same thing. Prayers and love. Visual representation of I don't look like what I am going through. God is covering, healing, and blessing her. Um, Go, God. You don't have respect for the person in large. My territory to God. Thank you, Jesus. It's time to let go, Lala. One fan wrote regarding Lala's marriage to Anthony. Since you, since you sing her now, check it out. Okay, goddess. Yes, thank you, Lord. God. Women gold, women God goes growing and glowing. That was her tag in her uh, Instagram account that she, I guess, posted her picture under. It says, Yes, in that order, you deserve better. Yep, too beautiful inside and out. Fancy would notice that she was no longer rocking her wedding ring. See, I told you. She didn't even have it. Wait a minute. She didn't even have to hint us 
for me. She, she didn't even have to hit us with the hand like that. One fan joke. The man was on a business trip trying to provide for his family. Come on, you guys. No rain. According to people's sources say that the couple has been separated for a while now. And the mother of one is now exploring legal options in their marriage, but didn't specifically mention divorce. As she's doing that Wendy Williams move. <laughs> and then truly that. If Wendy Williams is getting a divorce, because I, I feel that's kind of like for TV too. I don't think she's spending to a cabin. Oh, excuse me, Kevin. And that's so sad. I'm getting tired of these uh, intelligent black women, hell, any woman. I don't care what race it is. That's sitting letting men drag them all the way down into nothing. And then it takes something really, really off the wall to make them uh, go on with their life. Or the man that they're fooling with going back and forth, in and out, in and out. Uh, in the marriage, why they continue to do what they want to do and keep continuing having all these harem of women. You know, you, you got to say no sometime, women. You got to say enough is enough is enough, okay? I'm leaving out this trauma-filled lifestyle you got me living in. Hint, hint, tiny Harris. And I'm just going to do what I need to do because it's just terrible. Uh, Right here, got shit too tight. Lord, Lord, she got me feeling. I tell you, she can't. I always come in here knowing I'm doing a video, but she don't want me to mess with her when she's doing a video. Mm, yeah, this is not. Might be another sis. Oh. I know. Let me go to the Okay, um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, she's been leaving single. I'll look at it before I go to bed. She's been um, living single for quite a while, like I said. She's trying to do these legal uh, things like Wendy Williams trying to, just trying to see what she can get. But like I said, Lala, if you did an infraction, just go on. You got too much talent, too much money. Don't you got to worry about no spouse of support. As long as he take care of the child to the child gets out of college, that should be enough for you. Because you, you definitely got people around you. You know people, okay? You have opportunity. You're smart. You're intelligent. And everybody likes you, okay? So just go on. It ain't no legal. In my book, it ain't no legal. Just leave, huh? Leave with whatever you got and move on, okay? Because he don't want to give you nothing. He don't want to treat you like nothing. He don't respect you or anything. He, he could care less of how he embarrass himself. But, he could, you know, he don't even care how he make you look out in these streets. So I'm like, girl, drop him, honey. Just go on and leave. But anyway, you have one that $68,000. That's your help somewhere. But I'm going to get to that video, okay? But anyway, going back to this article. Oh, uh, she said something about they're gonna be loving and caring parents. Hey, y'all been doing it for a year anyway. It's easy to do, okay? It's hard in some ways because you always want that mother and father effect, okay? I understand, I get it. But sometimes life throws us lemons. We have to make lemonades, we have to motivate ourselves and keep moving forward, not backwards. That was my pun and I thought I'd just say that because I just it just felt and weighed on my heart. I needed to get that out. Okay, but going back to this commentary, it says the two wed in 2010 and share a son named Cayenne together. In 2017, reports spread like wildfire, fire, uh, fire, wildfire that Lala filed for separation when he allegedly had a baby outside of their marriage. In a February interview with Hollywood Life, Lala spoke about their reconciliation. I think that marriages are hard. And I always see whoever tells you differently. They'll be lying. I've been with my husband for 14 years now. So if you think you're going to go through 14 years without no bumps or bruises in the road, you're fooling yourself. But it's, but it's about how you respond to it. And sometimes things happen to make the unit stronger and help you guys grow. And I think that's been the case for us. We're still working through some things, but I'm happy to be in a much better place right now. Stay tuned to see if everything is all well in Carmela's life of love and basketball. But Lala, she sure isn't breaking a sweat in front of the cameras at least. And that was the end of the article. But I'm like, Lala, stop being a fool. Okay, stop being a fool. Okay. <laughs> these side mistresses, these side women, these side chicks, they're not staying in the background like it was in the 60s and 70s and 80s. Okay? And we're going to say the 90s. If you knew of an infidelity or a mistress going on, they didn't come out. Okay? They didn't come out. We didn't keep it. Hey, 
everything was like out of sight, out of mind. We didn't bring them out amongst the regular folks. You know, the facade is all overcasted where, hey, I got to keep my wife in the view of the public, but you got to be in the dark, but you can have just as much as she can, but I can't see you, <laughs> you know, out in the public. It was a known thing, but it wasn't talked about and it wasn't shared. You know what I'm saying? So now these side chicks and, and these uh, baby mamas coming out, you know, messing up people's marriages or whatnot. And I, like I said, can't nobody mess up your marriage unless you allow them to. You let them in, your union. When you do crazy stuff like that, especially folks that got these open marriages. When you do stuff like that, are you really thinking you're going to be happy? One person is more happy because that's what they want. They want the other attention of other mates, you know, be it the same sex or, you know, heterosexuals. And they just swing in, you know, here and there. Once you invite that in, you're going to have chaos and it's going to be a total mess because you allowed something that you really, really didn't want, but you agreed upon it thinking it's going to make your marriage better or your relationship better. And it turns out to be worse, worse than what it started. And then you can't get out. And then you're still going to be in up miserable. Uh uh, me, I'd rather be with somebody else or by myself, having peace of mind and making sure my child is straight by him having me as the mother. And the father being actively involved and playing a you know a, a real pivotal role in raising the child. Now, okay, sometimes you know once you separate, get a divorce from uh, these fathers or these dads, you know they get all upset. They don't want to pay child support. They don't want to pay spouse support, and they take it out on the child by not seeing the child. You know what I'm saying? Or not giving the child what they were getting when they when everybody was happy living under the same roof. But it's just what it is. I'm like la la. You're too smart, you're too intelligent, baby. And if you didn't have any infraction and this man is just throwing you like to the wolves and, and just doing all this stuff that we blatantly can see, I don't know what you can't see out of it, but I mean, if you're playing that Wendy Williams role where you just getting all your info on him and, you know, so you can get a nice spousal support as well as, I don't know what you could want from Because like I said... I would just be like, uh-uh, I don't want that. I want you out of my life, okay? Everything that I got, I keep. Everything you got, you keep. And we take care of our child mutually, okay? We share the expenses. And I would just say toodles, you know what I'm saying? Deuces, whatever y'all say these days. I, I don't know, okay? But that's my take on this story. I'm like, la, la, give it up, okay? It's, it's very well overdone. Put a fork in it, babe. Put a fork, wrap it up, you know, Put it as a dog or bad, let the dogs eat it or whatever, because you deserve better. If, in fact, you didn't cheat and he's just been doing the cheating here and there and everywhere, okay? But that's all I had, y'all. Uh, have a blessed day, and we'll be tuning in or getting you to tune in to another video. Hope you enjoyed my commentary or what I saw, what I thought about it. You know, I think you got Luda there. If, if she say the word, I think Luda leave Exodi or, or whatever you call it, Doxy, Edoxy. I think he'll leave her hunt high and dry because the, the lady looked too much like Lala. I'm just saying. That's my opinion on it. I'm sure y'all have your own opinions on it. Leave them in the comments. We can dialogue about it, whatever. Or we can agree to disagree. It don't matter to me. It really don't matter. But I like the comments. I do. I enjoy the comments. Uh, but uh, like I said, I'll check y'all out for another video later on this evening. If I can get to it, y'all. If I can get to it. All right, but keep subscribing to me. Uh, keep liking my videos and share those jokers, okay? Give somebody a laugh. If y'all laugh at me and stuff, y'all like my commentary, please share it. Share it with your family, friends, and your haters. Hell, you know, maybe haters need to laugh sometime too. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, bless you, and I'll see you next video. Thank you. Bye.